Hey, what's up everybody? Neil here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to better manage your incoming email with a free application called Email Pop-Up Poppy. What this application does is bring up a pop-up window or a little dialog box anytime an incoming email comes in from the designated email account you set up. So it'll pop up and you can perform some quick actions like reply, you can disregard it, trash it, things like that. So let's go ahead and show you how to set it up. When you first open it up, you're going to want to skim through some of the quick little settings like, of course, you're going to want to enable it, maybe set your volume, show disconnects, which basically show occasional notifications when email account is unreachable. Then there's enable do not disturb, where you can then set a specified parameter or interval when this will not be disturbed. Next, go to email accounts. I already have one set up, but let's do it again. Or actually, let's just get rid of this one and show you how to do it all together. You're going to hit the addition sign. Pick your email account type. Hopefully, you're not using AOL, because that would be hilarious. I'm using Gmail. You're going to put your username, but you're not going to put your at gmail.com at the end. You're just going to put the beginning of it. Okay. Then you're going to put in your password. You can then select the interval of how often, basically how frequently this is checking for your email. You have push every minute, every 15 minutes. You see the intervals right there. Then down below you have some more power draining options like every 15 seconds or every 30 seconds. I prefer push. It works conveniently. Then email client. You can choose an application or a mail application for this account. So when you want to open it, it'll actually open to this specified application. Let's just do Gmail and then check connection. Let's make sure everything's correct that we just did. So it's configured correctly. Then down below they have some other options you can quickly go over. You can have an idle folder, choose a folder to monitor, push notifications, typically your inbox. Then there's other ones you can select from. But that's basically it. Mine's all set up so just hit the save button up top and it's saved now let's go back and show you how you can edit your pop-up can make it look any way you want well almost anyway so before we actually choose the style let's go through some of the other options with your pop-up there's close after notification action which I use because I wanted to close after I perform an action then there's wake up screen on notification I'm gonna leave that off because I don't want my screen to wake up just because of this there's show email body if you prefer. You can restrict this to only your contacts. And you can add some presets. So when you reply, you can add something like I'll get right back to you or something like that if you'd like. So that's basically it. So let's go to style. There's a bunch of styles, but honestly, they all look kind of tacky. So let's just do default, which is probably the best one. And you can edit the transparency and things like that. So right now my transparency is 3, let's make it more, and then you can get a preview right there. There you go. And you can also choose the colors, text color, size, things like that. And it does make it look a lot better. So take a look at that preview. So everything's set up. Let's go ahead and show you how it works now. There you go, I just received my email notification. I can choose to reply, I can open it, I can close it. You tap up here, you can disable the pop-up if you want. Reply from the actual email application. You can mark as read or delete it. So it's extremely convenient. I mean, it's definitely helped me monitor and manage my inbox and limit that that uh, number to something a little bit smaller because we all fill up our inboxes pretty quick as we disregard notifications. Also, a little tip or note, you may want to disable the notifications for the application you're using with pop-up unless you want double the notifications, I guess. So that's just a little tip that you can decide. Definitely check out the full guide. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more awesome gadget hack videos, and thanks for watching.